starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. You're getting big. I measured him yesterday. He's 15 hands. Whose hands? What do you mean, whose hands? Your hands are smaller than mine, and your grand's hands are bigger than both of us. Boy, for a farm kid, you sure are dumb. When you measure a horse, it hasn't got anything to do with your hands, or my hands, or anybody's hands. My hand is four inches. So if Domino's 15 hands, he's 60 inches tall. I never knew that. You know, you know what now? Gramps says he won't get much bigger on account of he's a quarter horse. Uh, Jeff, you won't get mad if I ask you a question, will you? What? If he's only a quarter horse, what's the rest of him? Are you kidding, Porky? Well, no. Like in arithmetic, if you cut an apple in the four quarters... Don't you listen to anything at 4-H? Don't you hear what Mr. Kimbrey says? What'd he say? He says lots of things. A long time ago, he told us about the different kind of horses. Don't you remember? No. He told us about Pertrons and Morgans and Arabians and American Saddlebreds and Quarter Horses and Thoroughbreds. He did? He must have been sleeping. And the reason they're called Quarter Horses because when they race, it's mostly a quarter of a mile. Thoroughbreds race a mile, sometimes more. Oh, you're going to race Domino at the county fair? I'm going to start breaking him next week. What do you know about breaking a horse? You never did it before. Doc Weaver loaned me a book. It tells all about it. I'm not really going to break him, though. I'm going to gentle him, like the Arab kids do. They even keep their horses in tents with them. You're not going to keep Domino in a tent, are you? Of course not. He's pretty gentle now. All I gotta do is get him used to a saddle and a bridle. Gotta get him used to riding, too. Well, he's used to that. What do you mean? Uh, uh, nothing. You been up on him, Jeff? I didn't say that. Yeah, I know you didn't say that, but you said that he's used to riding. <laughs> Did I? Yes. Oh, come on, Jeff. You can tell me. Tell you what? You've been riding him bareback. Have you? No, oh, if I tell you, you'll blab it all over and Gramps will hear about Honest, it. Honest, I won't. I cross my heart and hope to die. Boil and oil and rot forever and eat red ants. Boil and oil and rot forever and eat red ants. Scout's honor? Scout's honor. Well. Okay. I rode him twice. Where? Once here and once in the North Meadow. Boy, how'd it feel? Great. Jeff! Coming! Now, don't you blabber. You know what'll happen to you. Jeff, uh, Clem Wyatt, my grandson, his friend, Porky. Pleased to know you, boys. Is that the coach you want, bro? That's the one. Ah, uh, studs ain't never easy. Gramps, I want to break Domino myself. What? I said studs ain't never easy, especially if they turn up fireball. But Jeff's already been a... If you don't think you can break him, mister... And there's one way to find out. Easy, boy. Easy. Advice, Mr. Miller, and get rid of that coat. It's a real fireball if ever I see one. Can't understand it. He always seemed gentle. He is gentle. 
Mind your manners, boy. Oh, that's all right. You can't blame the boy for sticking up for his horse. Trouble is, son, you waited too long. That colt should have been broken three months ago. Now you'll never get up on him. How do you know so all fired much about horses? I've been reading about them. Well, reading's one thing and doing is another. I told you that a dozen times. Gramps doesn't mean that reading isn't important, but so are practical knowledge and experience. But I know I can ride him. Yeah, get thrown and break your neck? Why, it's right. You need a filly or a mare. He's not right. He's all wrong. Well, now, don't raise your voice about him. But I know he's wrong. I know it. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Now, look here, Ellen. Calm Alan. down, calm down. They won't be no living with him for long if he ain't hogtied. Finish your supper. I never saw a boy his age so high and mighty. I'd rather he were high and mighty than low and frightened. And I'll tell you one thing, I'm getting rid of that coat. I ain't going to be responsible for him breaking his neck. It isn't necessary for you to raise your voice, either. Wyatt offered to truck the colt up to Twin Oaks and try and swap him, and I'm going to let him. Don't be hasty, Dad. I ain't being hasty. Wyatt's been breaking horses all his life, and he knows what he's talking about. You gave him the colt, remember? Yes, and I'm taking him away before he kills himself trying to ride him. Don't worry, girl. We won't let him take Domino away, will we? Okay, girl. Stay here until I come back for you. I'll sneak out after breakfast and bring you some oats and water, okay? More coffee, dear? No, thanks. Jeff, you know, I've been thinking. If I can get Wyatt to trade that coal for a Saddlebroke mare, I think I'll let him do it. Well, ain't you got nothing to say? No, sir. It's quiet now. Sweetheart, don't you think you'd be better off with a horse you can ride? I can ride Domino. Mr. Wyatt says if I you... don't care what he says. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, now, Jeff, don't be obstinate. I'm not being obstinate. I... Jeff! Mom, I gotta tell you, I took Domino out of the barn this morning and hit him in the woods. Jeff! He's coming. Running away from problems never solves them, son. Now you know that. And if Domino's gonna be hard to break or dangerous to ride... But he's I... not dangerous, Mom. You gotta believe me. Jeff, come on out here. Better go. 
All right, I'll tell you. I rode Domino twice already. You what? I did. Once in the corral and once in the North Meadow. I even galloped. He's as gentle as can be. Well, then why did he rear when Mr. Wyatt threw the blanket on him? I don't know, but he never rears or bucks with me, Ma, never. Please don't let Graham swap him. You stay here. Good morning, Mr. Wyatt. Good morning, Mom. Where's Jeff? He's inside. The cold missile from the barn. I know, I know. Mr. Wyatt, I'm sorry we took up so much of your time, but we've decided to keep the cold. Who decided? We'll discuss it later, Dad. Now, look here, Ellen. Oh, I, I... Please, please. So, if you'll just tell us how much we owe you. Well, you don't owe me nothing, Mom, but I think you're making a mistake. Did Jeff take the cold out of the stall? Yes. I'm well, where'd sorry. he put it? In the woods. I'll tell you about it later. Well, I gotta mosey along. It's been nice knowing you folks. Nice meeting you too, Mr. Wyatt, and thanks again. It's all right, Mike. What's the meaning of this, Ellen? Come on in the house. Easy, boy, now. Take it easy. Why in tarnation didn't you tell me this before? I was afraid you'd get mad. Now, look here, Jeff. There ain't nothing you can't tell me, ever. Well, I always thought so, Gramps. But when Mr. Wyatt said the domino was a fireball and that I couldn't ride him, I got all mixed up. Why did he say that, Dad? Why, it's as plain as the nose in your face. He figured he'd get a good piece of horse flesh for a broken down old mare. What is it, girl? He's heading for Twin Oaks. But then you never can tell. Yeah, all right, Clay. Clay's gonna try and head him off before he gets to the state road. Uh, here, now don't you fret now. We'll get Domino back, even if you and I have to go and hunt that horse thief ourselves. Lassie will follow him. She won't let him get away. <laughs> That's right. Outside of Calvary, and I'm heading up to Twin Oaks. Hey, listen, Buell. I just picked me up the prettiest little quarter horse stud you ever seen. I want to drop him off at your place for a while. Oh, I'll be by there in a couple hours, unless this old truck of mine breaks down. Yeah, I got a leaky radiator. I'll see you, Buell. 
What? That's right. Where's the coat? What coat? The one you stole from the Millers. Where'd you ever get that ringtail story? Never mind where I got it. Where's the coat? Well, now, he ain't in the trailer and he ain't in the back of the truck, so it's likely I got him in one of my pockets. You want to search me? It's not funny, Wyatt. You were seen loading the coat in your trailer. Now, where is it? Oh, your guess is as good as mine. I don't know what you're talking about. I got to get moving. Only one place you're moving. Back to the middle of fun. Now get in the truck and turn around and I'll follow you. I'm heading toward Twin Oaks. You're heading back to Calverton to face a charge of grand theft. Now look! I'm through looking, Wyatt. Get in the truck. There ain't nothing wrong with the boy's eyesight, Wyatt. And he ain't given to lying. If he says he saw you steal that colt, that's all I need. That ain't all the law needs, Pop. I ain't got your colt, never had it. Boy's dreaming. I am not. I saw Domino in your trailer. I even sent Lassie after you. You want to arrest me, Constable? Go ahead, I've been around. I know all about false arrests. It'll cost you dear, all of you. I don't care what it costs. Lock him up, Clay. I don't think we can hold him, Mr. Miller. You think Jeff's lying? No, I don't, but... Well, I'll take the responsibility. Lock him up. Wait a minute, Dad. Mr. Wyatt, all we want to know is what happened to the colt. Like I told the constable, ma'am. Your guess is as good as mine. You're wasting your breath, Helen. So am I, and time, too. Well, what'll it be, constable? I got a long haul up to Twin Oaks. You ain't going to Twin Oaks. You're going to jail. But he stole Domino. I know, Jeff. But we have no real evidence. Make up your mind. If I were 20 years younger, yeah. I... Get going, Wyatt. So long. You ain't gonna let that horse thief get away as long as I have breath in my body. Oh, Dad, please. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, I'd like to tore my throat out. She might get unless you talk. I got nothing to say. Let her go, Jeff. <laughs> no, no. I stole your coat. All right, Wyatt, you're under arrest. And this time it isn't false. <laughs> Put a blanket on him tomorrow. On the weekend, maybe he'll take a saddle. You're not mad, are you, Gramps? Mad? What for? I got the smartest grandson and the smartest coat in the whole county. Oh, poor Lassie. Nobody's giving her credit for being smart. <laughs> Domino is. He knows.